everyone, it's Lexi and welcome to Top 5 Wednesdays. If you're new to my channel, I subscribe videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And so welcome to Top 5 Wednesdays. So if you're not familiar about Top 5 Wednesdays, I'll leave the group like information for the Goodreads account down below if you're interested in topics and such. So today's topic is books from my Hogwarts house. So I thought this one was a really neat idea. I really liked it. Um, so I took the um, house sorting quiz on Pottermore. Um, I'll link it up in the description bar and down below if you're interested in seeing that but I ended up being a Ravenclaw. I still consider myself to be kind of in between a Gryffindor and a Ravenclaw but I'll go with the um, Ravenclaw because that is technically what I am according officially to Pottermore. Um, so let me just quickly look up the trades. I pulled it up here so we could like so I knew like what books I was looking for and so our uh, traits are intelligence, wit, wisdom, creativity, originality, individuality, and acceptance. So I found a bunch of books here that I really fit, that I think really fit the description. So without further ado, let's get started. So this first one is one that I actually don't own and it is the Hidden Figures uh, book that came out kind of following the movie. Um, so I saw the movie and it's about like three, based on true story about three women uh, during the 60s I want to say um, who were part of the NASA like launch into space um, when we were trying to beat the Soviet Union um, during this time and just kind of they're really really intelligent but because of their the color of their skin NASA there was a lot of uh, race, racism kind of going in play and kind of obstacles that they had to overcome but they are really intelligent I thought like they fit this description really well. I'm pretty sure they would be Ravenclaws like 100%. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen the movie, it's actually pretty good. I really like it. I haven't read the book yet, but it's something that I plan on purchasing in the future. So yeah. So I don't know about you, but like when I think of like Ravenclaws, I think of like the really kind of smart, like smarter than the teacher, like correcting teacher type of student. And so I think this book fits perfectly into that like description. And it is Lies My Teacher Told Me Everything Your American History Textbook Got Wrong um, by James W. Lowen. And so this is a book that I've had for a long time and it basically goes through different parts of history, basically starting with Columbus and everything that the textbooks tell you is wrong and I think this is something definitely a Ravenclaw would read. I like totally can see them reading this. Um, I don't know and I think it's really interesting too just how kind of I just how tainted are like the history that is taught to us in school. Like I'm from Canada but I kind of did my schooling in Canada and the US so I got a bit of both um, but I think it's really interesting especially like I just finished reading Black Dove White Raven by Elizabeth Wine which I didn't really enjoy but I liked how it talked about um, kind of it Italy invading Ethiopia which is something I never learned about during the 30s and that kind of was like around the time World War II was kind of getting started put into motion so I think it's really interesting if you want to like learn more about like kind of the history and how it was like kind of taught wrong I think this would be perfect for you if you're interested in all of this stuff so yeah this next one also is kind of for the inquisitive people and for a dog lover and it is Inside a Dog, What Dogs See, Smell and Know by Alexandra Horowitz. And I read this book a couple years ago and it basically describes like everything about dogs, like how they perceive us, how they perceive other dogs, like little things like that. And I think this is really good if you're interested in learning more about it. It is quite technical, um, which... Um, I actually kind of liked. I do like these kind of technical reads as well. And I think this one's really good if you're kind of a wanting to learn more about dogs and like the science behind them. I also liked how it talked about like the anthropomorphism that we kind of place on dogs and just kind of all that stuff. I think this is really interesting. It kind of talks about their biology as well and just like how dogs learn and like how they perceive things and how like they what is their perception of time which I think is really interesting so if you're looking for like a sciencey read but if you're like a dog lover I think this is totally up your alley like I learned so much about dogs so yeah I think this one is really good so kind of going along with how Ravenclaws are kind of like the like 
intelligent people. I think this one, like, are, like, the thinkers of the Hogwarts school. I think this one will be a uh, good kind of remind me there as well. And it is Still Alice by Lisa Genova. I read this book a couple years ago, and it basically is a story about a woman named Alice who was very smart. She was, I think she taught at, like, Harvard or, like, one of those Ivy League schools. And she ended up getting early on early onset Alzheimer's and just like kind of this is her kind of story of remembering like her understanding of what's going on throughout basically the beginning of the diagnosis until like the really end where she's not really kind of there anymore so I think this is especially because it deals with the mind I think this is something that is really really interesting for like to read um, especially because the character Alice is very smart and intelligent and she's kind of losing the piece that made her like her intelligence was her like identity in a sense like her career her that's who she was so I think this is something especially like Ravenclaws because they are that like intelligent kind of um part of Hogwarts I think this is really relevant too and it also has like that blue in there as well so yeah double whammy so this last book is one that I double majored in biomedical engineering and anthropology so like this is totally up my alley for like the anthropology side. So it kind of goes along with like the inquisitive like trying to learn everything there is about it and it is this monster of a book. It weighs like five pounds. Uh, Sapiens, A Brief History of Mankind. So by Yuval Noah Harari. I think that's how you pronounce his name, but basically it is a recollection of how the genus Homo came about. Uh, about, what did it say, a thousand, hundred thousand years ago there were six like human like species running around. Um, I think probably from the Australopithecines and like how we branched off of that into form the genus Homo, which I think is really interesting. I think that's part of the Ravenclaw in me is just trying to understand like I think the events that led to human history like we were talking about this the other day it was just like these little things have to happen over so many years like the chances of humans like like evolving I think were like amazing just the chance that this happened so I think I haven't read this yet I think this might be a good summary because it's quite dense but um yeah like I think it's really interesting it covers basically human history and just like our knowledge and understanding of the human like how humans evolved I think this will be really interesting and I think if, pe if people are interested in this I know this is a highly praised book within my um anthropological department at school they were always talking about this book so yeah I think if you're interested in kind of learning this I think this will be a good place to start so that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about some of these books and what Hogwarts house do you belong to? I'd be really interested to hear. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!